good afternoon, everyone. I'm uh, Naveen Kumar from uh, VoiceRoute. Uh, I'm going to talk today about uh, the Druid project. Uh, basically, it's an open source unified communications platform. Uh, just to get a sense of my audience, how many people here have heard of Asterisk? OK, almost everyone. That's good. So this won't go too much over your head. And uh, so basically, let me just get started. Well, what is unified communications? Everyone uses this term all the time, so what is it? So I took a look on the web, and I found a couple of uh, examples. Um, on Wikipedia, it says here, it describes all forms of call and multimedia cross-message management functions controlled by an individual user for both business and social functions. Now, I think that's a mouthful, but <laughs> so. Uh, and uh, this one here, the largest single value of UC is in its ability to reduce human latency and business processes. I mean, both of these definitions are way too confusing for me. So I kind of like to summarize it to this one. You know, utilizing different uh, forms of communications to optimize enterprise processes. Well, enterprise processes you can think of sort of as any business function, completing a sale or meeting with a, meeting with a partner, anything like that. Well, a few issues here. How do you optimize uh, enterprise processes? And what communications do you use to actually accomplish this? You know? So there are a few examples that you may have already know. Uh, many of you uh, video conferencing or video calling. Uh, basically, this does is it provides an instant face-to-face -face meeting. So in the current economic climate today, you know, oil is expensive. You don't have to travel now. You can actually get a face-to-face -face meeting with a guy just by technology. And of course, there are other examples. Uh, some of the first earliest examples of unified communications are in call centers and things like that. So say you know, I get a call in. I want to log calls into a CRM and ticketing systems. Or when I get an incoming call, I want to actually see the information about who's calling me. And it goes, it goes further down. Now you have desktop applications like Microsoft Outlook, where you can actually call from your Outlook address book and Lotus Notes and many IM clients that do a lot of uh, different things now. And this last one here, collaboration, I think is the most important because nowadays, you know, everyone needs to collaborate. You have conferencing, you have a lot of different things, and really you need to utilize a ton of different communications and actually integrate that with all, almost all of these things to actually accomplish uh, a lot of collaboration. Well, as I just talked about collaboration, this gives me to the next point. You know, an important aspect of UC is collaboration, just like I said. And like I said, it allows people to work together, uh, even if they're far apart on a global scale. Well, what other group of people actually works on a, collaborates on a global scale than open source contributors? And so who knows more about this problem than the open source community? So that's why we're, uh, that's why we're here. And so now I get to my uh, project, uh, Druid. And this is basically a culmination of two years of work. It consists of several different parts. Um, I know many of you have heard of Asterisk, so it uh, consists of Asterisk. You have an IM server in Jabberd, an email server, a fax server, and we have open sourced our web interface and a bunch of distribution components. And so basically what we're doing is, is we're integrating several communications mediums, you know, IM, uh, voice and video, uh, email, fax, and even the mobile phone. We made this really easy to use and deploy because we feel that, you know, if this is unified communications, it's got to be adopted by a lot of people. And, you know, we also have a SOAP API for integration in third-party applications. I'll get more on this later. So we also have multilingual support. We're responsive, very easy to use, AJAX enabled, all these things. Well, here's another important point. We have a user portal uh, for user operations. Remember that Wikipedia definitions, functions controlled by the user? Well, that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about controlling call routing, accessing your individual messages, and even your per user unified call record. So depending on whatever device you're using or whatever communications you're using, you're getting access to records of all that communication. So now I'll get into a brief demonstration. And as many of you know of Asterisk, this shouldn't be too hard. So I'll briefly log into the admin interface here. And so here's just a few features of the admin interface. I won't go in too much detail. You can add stations, VoIP trunks, extensions, hardware. If you know Asterisk, this should be pretty straightforward. 
if you're not too familiar with asterisk, I kind of apologize. It's a bit cryptic maybe for you, but you know, more interestingly, I'd like to log into the uh, user portal. So basically what I just did was I logged into the user portal using my extension and my voicemail pin. And that's pretty typical of our system. You know, everything is unified. It's very, you know, you know, whether you're logging into your voicemail or logging into the web interface or logging to other things, everything is pretty much the same uh, username and password. So there's several features here. Uh, first, we start with routing your calls. So, you know, as a user, how do I want my calls to be routed? Do I want it routed you know, directly to voicemail? How much time do I want my phone to ring for? And, and uh, stuff like that. Now, one of the things that we do very well is integrate with the mobile phone. So you can actually enable a feature here, mobile bridging, stuff like that. And you can actually save this. And what would happen is, is that now, any calls that go to my extension will automatically ring my mobile phone and my mobile phone becomes an extension in the system, basically unifying your mobile phone to your phone system and other things. So I can also do this on a time basis. So I set up a rule here. Uh, you basically have a start time, an end time, you know, weekdays. And here, what I want is during lunchtime, you see 12 to 2 p.m., I want all my calls to go instantly to voicemail. I don't want to take any calls while I'm at lunch. And we have several other features. We have a unified mailbox. Uh, there are no entries here, but uh, you'd see voicemail, fax, a lot of other things. And I could go on about this for a long time, but uh, in the interest of time, I'll go back. And there's a, if you check out our website uh, after the presentation, you can see more information. So let me just get you briefly into the organization of Druid here. And Druid is designed to be very modular. And it uses a unique PHP organization that's very MVC-like. So if any of you know PHP, it should be kind of straightforward. It uses a lot of AJAX, JavaScript. And like I said, all components are integrated together using universal login. So now I get to a code example. Now you may be wondering, why am I showing you this code example? You know, I don't care really much about web development, or why do I even care to look at this? Well, there's a couple important things to note here. First, note this Druid module and note this to-do. This Druid module corresponds to a class here and a function call. Now this, gets, this is important, as later on I will get into a, our SOAP API which really takes extensive use of these things. But you can see here that you know, it's very, you know, very MVC-like, it's pretty much Dojo toolkit, so if any of you are familiar with that, you should take a look at this. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the SOAP API. And the SOAP API is probably the easiest and preferred way to extend functionality. Uh, you can basically integrate Druid with any programming language that uses SOAP. Uh, things like Java, C Sharp, .NET, Ruby, anything like that. And you get a whole library of applications that you can now give to your users. So it's pretty easy to use. You know, I can access this WSDL link in the browser. And you can see, notice this user type element, and I'll access this real quick. Uh, 